time I try to open my phone, I read only one thing that is coronavirus or COVID-19. It's like corona everywhere, be it WhatsApp or Instagram or Twitter or YouTube, everywhere it's all about corona. And it even feels like a disease festival here. As I'm talking to you guys right now, Italy is closed, France is closed, the stock markets are crashing. It's all bad news. I just want to tell you guys that we are all together in this but without touching. So yesterday I went and shopped for some groceries and it was definitely a very strange and interesting experience I may add. I just quickly want to show you guys what I shopped and that might be useful so that uh, you can uh, stock all these things up. I'm going to share uh, quick snippets of what actually the situation in Virginia Beach. So once after that video clip is done, I will go through each and every item that I got so that it will also help you to stock things up and make sure that you check that thing on your checklist. Hello my beautiful people. Virginia Beach was declared a state of emergency because of the outbreak of COVID-19 of more than uh, 20 cases being reported. So that's the reason I'm wearing a mask. And at the moment, uh, I'm running out of groceries. So I thought I can uh, do this vlog uh, and show you to guys what I actually buy and what you can actually stock up during this crisis. Um, people say that uh, masks don't protect you, but then it's better safe than sorry, right? So I got these masks uh, a month back and um, right now they are uh, completely out of stock and nobody gets a hands on these, uh, these masks. Breathe, don't panic and uh, let's do this and let's fight this and so come with me and let me show you what I'm going to buy today to stock up for the upcoming crisis and first stop is Costco I'm going to get a lot of bulk and frozen uh, groceries from Costco so let's go and do that and the bread section is literally empty so as of now the Costco is super crowded and um, lots and lots of things are out of stock especially the water bottles and uh, the bath tissues, tissues, bread and all the essentials like milk and egg they're completely out of stock and I'm trying to grab whatever I can. So as, as you can see I've got uh, loads of eggs. I got one pack of uh, milk and um, I got a pack of yogurt, wheat yogurt and some frozen Vegetable, I mean, I'm frozen um, fruit, some bread, and some cheese, and a huge bag of lemon. So, in case uh, it's an antiseptic, right? So, and then some tomatoes and uh, capsicum. So, all of these are uh, wrapped in plastics, but uh, at this moment, I don't have any choice. So, survival is the moment now. So at the moment, nobody is wearing a mask, and uh, people are looking at me with. Uh, a different eyes but um it's be it's always better safe than sorry and you don't have to be shy to wear a mask in such a pandemic situation i'm not sure if you guys are uh, hearing my voice because the mask is filtering the voice you can also buy a good number of noodles because these products are not perishable and they have a very very longer shelf life and it is uh, very safe to stock and even if the outbreak is cleared we can still use this and a brilliant way to buy tomatoes is not buy fresh tomatoes at this moment and uh, buy some canned tomatoes like this and they have a very long shelf life and, and here you go so they have set a limit for uh, the rice items that a person is supposed to take only two units and this my friends is very very essential you can make so many things out of oats so definitely grab one if you find Uh, right now uh, from Costco I am uh, going to the Indian stores, the Indian groceries where I am going to buy some pulses, some lentils and pulses and uh, because uh, during the crisis these lentils, pulses and the dry goods they save us a lot and they are also not perishable. <laughs> As you can see the Walmart counters are completely empty. So I'm in CVS and I got these um, aloe vera gel and uh, this witch hazel which I can mix it and mix an essential oil and make my own hand sanitizer because hand sanitizers are completely out of stock everywhere. The first thing that I would ask you guys to buy is onions and potato. So with these 
to you can literally rule the world um with because indian cooking is nothing without onions so uh, stock up as many bags as you can handle because uh, onions they have a longer shelf life and uh, even uh, even potatoes they have a longer shelf life so stock them up as much as possible the second thing that i'm going to talk about is to buy uh, loads and loads of uh, upma packets and it is the only dish that has not so much drama yet uh, you have that fulfilling feeling when you uh, have a bowl of upma um, so i got this box from costco and uh, i think this was the last two boxes left in my last video i remember that i told that i would not be buying breads anymore and i will and i will be baking at home but then unfortunately this time i got this bread i was very I just tried myself not tried my best not to buy it but then um in case of survival when you're thinking about survival you definitely have to stock them up I just got two bread packets and I um tried to you know uh, save it for the rest of the people um especially south indians cannot live without rice so rice is very staple for us so uh stocking up a huge quantities of rice is uh, the best way that we can uh, fight the mm, food crisis I got some chickpeas, black chickpeas, and uh, some kidney beans. Oh my God! So many stuff. My storeroom is literally um, suffocating. So I got my hands on a huge pack of oats. I generally buy huge pack of oats to make oat milk and so many other things with oat, like oat cake and oat cupcakes and uh, granola bars and so many other things. So oats is. Um, this must go in my pantry so even if you run out of milk and if you want to make a cup of coffee you can make oat milk out of this and add your coffee powder and your sugar and you are such a so the next item is the salt so your salt and the other herbs or the indian spices is a must go and you have to stock it up even if you have all the other items that i mentioned if there is no salt it is definitely not edible right um, it is not palatable i would say not edible it is still edible but then it is not palatable so it's, uh, One thing that I noticed yesterday when I was grocery shopping was, literally the entire Costco was eighty percent empty. Not just Costco, many other grocery stores they are empty. And um, I think uh, during this coronavirus time, Costco and many other uh, food chains they had really a good time earning some bucks because they cleared all the stock in just one week. And the last item that I want to talk about, and the last item that I want to talk about is uh, your supplements. This is my husband's vitamin supplements, and uh, please stock up some vitamins just in case if they are full. Even if you are, even if we are progressing with, um, even if we are progressing with very less uh, supply of food, and if something really bad happens, and if we don't have access to food. uh your vitamin supplements are mandatory because uh, they supply the deficit most of all very very important please sanitize your entire house this is the time because i know most of you are working from home most of you are um homebound and nobody is getting out of the home be safe don't watch too much of the news because i know it's a headache so that is an important tip that i'm giving you guys because i stop i close my phones and uh, i'm just taking my own time off the tv and off the internet because uh, that is a much needed uh, time off at the moment because it gives so much peace not to read the news and but at the same time also be aware of what is happening around you and take care of yourself and i will see you guys in the next video